can think about is Diluc. Me too, Donna. <sighs> Me too. All right, before we get into the video, we're gonna pull Diluc. Hey there, big boy. You ready? You ready to be my party? Cause I'm ready for you. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck! All right, ignoring that. I've made a comprehensive Primo Gym guide that kind of lays out all of the free ways that you can get Primo Gems. So the first and easiest way to get Primo Gems is to enter in the codes that MiHoYo releases. These should get you 30 Primo Gems each, and as you can see there are 6, but there are only 2 per server that they've released so far. So those are on screen right now, and you can go ahead and pause, but we're going to go ahead and move on to number 2. So the second way you can get Primo Gems is through the in-game tips. Now these will appear whenever you learn a new feature or see a new enemy. So in this example here, I found a new enemy and whenever you're ready you can just click G and it will let you read about the enemy and or feature and then you can gain one Primo Gem. Alright, the third item on my list is discovering waypoints. There are around 61 waypoints, so if you discover all of them, you've got yourself 305 Primo Gems. The fourth item on my list is discovering domains. You'll get 5 Primo Gems for every domain you discover, and I think there are around 18, so that'll net you about 90 Primo Gems. Number 5 on our list is discovering statues. Each statue will net you 5 Primo Gems. And I believe there are around 9 statues scattered about the map. This will bring you about 45 Primo Gems. Number 6 on our list also has to do with statues. After finding 65 Animoculus, you're able to get 90 Primo Gems by upgrading the statues. Same thing with Geoculus. After finding all 130 and turning it into one of the Geoculus statues, you're able to claim another 90 Primo Gems. Number 7 on my list is opening exquisite chests. Now these can be gained in a multitude of ways and there are hundreds scattered about the map, but getting two Primo Gems each is pretty nice. For example, one of the ways you can unlock an exquisite chest is to complete a challenge like this where you have to light all the torches surrounding one in order to unlock the barrier surrounding it. Number 8 on my list are Precious Chests. These ones will give you 5 Prima Gems each time you have one. They're a little bit challenging as well um, in terms of having to either complete something random or do what I did here and defeat a Ruin Guard. Number 9 on my list includes Luxurious Chests. Now these will give you 10 Prima Gems every time you open one. And I don't have any footage here but you can check out my first video on it that shows you how to find 8 free ones. I'll include a link in the description for that. Number 10 on my list includes events and achievements. Now for last week's event you were able to make 300 Primo Gems. I just put 100 plus because with all the different achievements you're able to make so many I didn't really want to put a number to it. Number 11 on my list are daily commissions. Now this bad boy right here I just threw on screen is what you want to look for on your map. If you still have these, you need to run right there ASAP and get it done. You get 10 Primo Gems every time you finish one, and after doing all four, you go see the annoying girl in the town, and she will say, Ad Astra Buda Buda. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Yeah, that dumb line. Anyways, you get 60 Primo Gems a day. It's definitely worth the time. The second to last item on my list is World Missions. Now, you saw me run up to this character because he had a blue check mark above his head. That'll appear on the map, and if you run to that, you'll usually find a mission. Uh, I put 20 plus for the reward on this one because you can get anywhere from 20 to, I've seen, up to 100 Primo Gems. These are definitely a great way to get them, especially because, as you can see from this mission here, I talked to him, I already had some sort of food that he wanted, I submit it to him, and I just get 20 free Primo Gems. The last item on my list is number 13, the Spiral Abyss. Now there are 8 floors here, each floor has 3 different sections with different challenges. Now, depending on how long it takes you to complete those challenges, you'll earn stars. 
every time you get three stars, you'll get 100 gems. So, out of eight floors, you're, you're able to earn 300 gems on each floor. That's up to 2,400 Primo gems. The Spiral Abyss resets every two weeks. So this is definitely one of the best ways to make Primo gems in the game. That's all I have for this video, so I hope some people found it helpful to see all the free ways you can get Primo gems in this game since we don't have a ton of money. Uh, please leave a comment down below if you made it to the end. You know, it makes me feel good knowing I can help some of you out. I also would appreciate anyone that hits the subscribe button. I definitely want to get more content out and that's the best way to let me know that you are interested in seeing more. So, thanks for watching. See ya!